Welcome to class number 10, session number 3. This session will focus on flexible strain or pressure sensors that are based on gold nanoparticles or carbon nanotubes. Films of functionalized nanoparticles hold great promise for flexible sensors and electronic skin applications. Their electrical and magnetic properties can be tuned readily by adjusting the nanoparticle size, shape, and the separation between the nanoparticles each to the other. Electronic conduction throughout nanoparticle films occur throughout interparticle electron tunneling where the tunnel current depends exponentially on the width of the tunnel barrier and this exponential dependence provides a sensitive detection mechanism for any parameter or process that changes the barrier width. Films of functionalized nanoparticles can function as highly sensitive strain gauges. The sensors exploit the exponential dependence of the interparticle tunnel resistance on the particle separation. Their sensitivity, or the gauge factor, is two orders of magnitude higher than that of the conventional metal foil gauges. The main sensing principle is that when the film is stretched, the interparticle's distance increases. As a consequence, the electrical resistance of the device increases and the response is proportional to the applied strain or pressure. Sensing various parameters such as pressure, temperature, and humidity from a complex sample using nanoparticles would be an essential step towards imitating the multiparametric performance of the living or human skin. For a proof concept, a prototype based on monolayer capped nanoparticles technology has been prepared and tested so far. This prototype was proven to take the advantage of using different protecting molecules on a flexible substrate to sense temperature and humidity in an unconjugated manner. This system provides an evidence that the multi-sensing can be achieved by using a single platform just like the human skin. Some results that are linked with this setup are shown on the screen. The top right figures show a schematic illustration of the flexible nanoparticles based sensor on relaxed and bent substrate. The bottom right figures show optical images of the relaxed and bent flexible substrate with the printed electrodes. The top left image describes the different dependencies of the flexible nanoparticles based on sensor, on temperature and on relative humidity under zero load, load of 3 grams, and load of 6 grams. These loads are seen in the graph as load 0, load 1, and load 2. The relative response to temperature and relative humidity changes when different loads are applied. The bottom left figure shows the high repeatability of the response of the nanoparticles based sensor to stretching when subjected to 12 cycles of load and unload. As could be seen in the figure, the change in the relative resistance response to the load is around 5%. Another approach for sensing strain is by using carbon nanotubes. Aligned single wall carbon nanotubes are presented as potential stretchable electric nanomaterial consisting of thin films that deform when stretched in a manner similar to the structural deformation of string cheese when peeled. This strain sensor that can measure and withstand strains up to 280% includes a lined array of carbon nanotubes perpendicular to the strain axis. When the device is stretched, the carbon nanotubes layer structure changes where voids and bridges are formed. As a result, the electrical resistance changes and the strain can be measured. 
The top schematics on the screen illustrates the key processes in fabricating the operating a single walled carbon nanotube film strain sensor. Basically, vertically aligned and very sparse single walled carbon nanotube thin films are first grown from patent catalysts using water assisted chemical vapor deposition. To make long films of arbitrary length, films are individually removed and laid side by side with a one millimeter overlap into a flat elastomeric dog bone shaped substrate with the alignment of the single walled carbon nanotubes arranged perpendicular to the strain axis as seen in figure B on the screen. On initial stretching, a reversible fracturing throughout the film creates gaps and islands. With further strain, their numbers and also the gaps width increases while creating a linear increase in resistivity. Uniformity of the single wall carbon nanotube film is vital for homogeneous fracturing throughout the film. To demonstrate the potential of the single wall carbon nanotube films in wearable devices, a stretchable human motion detector was fabricated by connecting stretchable electrodes to the films and assembling them on bandage and clothing. The formation of the skin can be monitored directly using single wall carbon nanotube films. When fixed to the chest, Respiration could be monitored by upward and dow downward slopes of the relative resistance associated with the inhalation and the exhalation as seen in figure B on the screen. In contrast, when attached to the thorax, figure A which is seen in the inset, the device monitored phonation, namely speech, by detecting motion of the Adam's apple. And this is shown on figure number C. Figure D shows eight films that are connected together and that form a 10 centimeter by one millimeter single wall carbon nanotube film assembled on a commercial stocking over the knee joint. For this case, it was found that the large single carbon nanotube film is necessary to detect and to distinguish every movement of the knee. Here is a short video that demonstrates the motion detection by the single wall carbon nanotube sensors. As seen, when the device is connected to the glove, large finger movement can also be detected. Conductive transparent stretchable Carbon nanotube films can be fabricated by spray coating directly onto substrate of elastomer. As seen in figure A on the screen, the as deposited film exhibit bundles of nanotubes with isotropic orientations. The application of the strain exerts tensile stress on bundles with components oriented with the axis of strain and align them to it. This can be seen in figure number B in the dashed books. Compressive stress on bundles oriented perpendicular to the axis of strain cause them to buckle into plane into waves. This could be seen in figure B in the solid books. After stretching the film for the first time, relaxation to 0% strain produces waves in the bundles that are aligned by stretching, and this could be seen in figure number C. The irreversible changes in the alignment of the carbon nanotubes create a memory effect. In other words, the electrical resistance does not return to its initial value after the stretching. Using this technology, a rigid capacitor based on carbon nanotubes can be fabricated to produce a device that has spatial resolution. Figure A on the screen shows the characteristics of 64 pixel array of compressible pressure sensors with enhanced contrast to show the lines of nanotubes. 
A photograph of the same device reversibly adhered to the backlit liquid crystal display is presented in figure number B. Figure C shows a map of the estimated pressure profile over two-dimensional area based on the change in capacitance when a pressure of one megapascal is applied to the central pixel. In this case, crosstalk between the adjacent pixels in the 64 pixel device is shown and is presented to be low. Figure D on the screen shows an image of the device being deformed in this array of sensors can detect the location of the applied pressure. The advantage of this device is actually the transparency beyond and further to its touch abilities. In this slide, I present a short video that illustrates the production and testing of stretchable artificial skin taken from the attached link in the presented on the screen. This we reach now to the end of class number 10, session number 3. With this class, we come also to the end of the MOOC course on nanotechnology and nanosensors. Thank you for your attention, and I hope you have enjoyed the course. Thank you.